I'm Dr. Hanumay Gowda, consultant orthopedic surgeon, practicing at AHA OrthoCare, Nagarbhavi, Bengaluru. Heel pain is a very common problem, uh, mostly in females compared to males. Most of these heel pains will be early morning pains, that is when you go to sleep in the night and get up in the morning, you get a lot of pain and after taking few steps, like about 8 to 10 steps, you start feeling better. The same thing may happen if you sit for about half an hour or one hour and then again you get up, you might get a little bit of pain. Again, you take few steps like 8 to 10 steps and your pain will go off. This complaint is broadly grouped into a condition called plantar fasciitis, also called heel pain. Most of the times there are no causes for this. It just happens that over time there is a heel pad fat that is between the bone and the skin in the heel, there is a fat pad. This heel pad fat will get hardened or it gets worn off. As it gets worn off, the bone will start taking more load. This is the commonest cause for this. The other one is, there is a tissue called fascia, a plantar fascia which will connect the heel bone to the toes. This is the place where you get the pain. This is the heel bone and these are the toes. These are the toes. So from here to here, there are connections. This is called the plantar fascia. That gets tightened also along with this problem. That can also lead to a little bit of problem like pain. Now, why this happens? It can happen due to multiple uh, reasons. The commonest being rheumatoid arthritis. The other one is uric acid problems leading to gout and gout related or gout type of arthritis. There are a whole lot of uh, arthritis which can lead to such a pain. But most of the times, the reason is unknown. It can be because of an old injury also. Old injury is something like a stone or a thorn which would have pricked you. It's not necessary that the thorn is staying behind. It would have come out, but the fat pad would have got injured because of that and that can also lead to a long-term pain. Very rarely an infection can lead to such a pain. So how do we treat or how do you manage this? The easier way of doing it is exercises, stretching of the plantar fascia, that is stretching of your foot so that the fascia gets stretched out. Second thing is wearing soft footwear. There are these days microcellular rubber, microcellular polymer slippers are available. They also help. Then there is something called silicone heel pad for people who wear shoes. You can put a heel cup like thing, you know, a cup like thing, silicone cup will come which can be put inside the shoes and that will also help. Sometimes it so happens with all these things, the pain doesn't come down. We'll have to put them on painkillers and give them a little bit of physical therapy in the form of ultrasonic massages. Even if this doesn't help, then we give local injections, which are steroid preparations by and large. And that by and large with one injection, 70 to 80% of the patients will get a complete relief. Remaining 20% are the problem area. We can repeat the injection a couple of times. If it doesn't help, then we'll have to operate and clear the heel. That is, we operate and clear whatever is attached to the heel here. So, the pressure on the heel will come down and the pain will subside.